Good morning. We are up and we are about to get in the car and get ready to go. We just had a ball. So we're getting ready to go to Nashville. See y'all in the car. So we are flying out of Nashville instead of Huntsville because the flights each were like $200 cheaper. So an hour and a half drive and here we are taking a little flight and there's Skyler he was taking a nap but he woke up after we checked in I did take one suitcase for me and him one carry-on one small bag that we checked with like his medicine and things like that in it and toiletries and then we did have a car seat and we're gonna check the stroller at the gate. So on this trip, it's my mom, my dad, my sister, my brother, and my brother's girlfriend, Lexis. So it's my sister's 25th birthday, and we're turning up in New York on a little family vacay. So this is me, Haley, and Skye, getting ready to board our flight. So a tip that I picked up from other mommies on YouTube was to feed my baby when taking off and landing. So well, this helped like him with like ear popping and things like that. And we're in New York. For more tips and traveling do's and don'ts with your baby, make sure you're on the lookout for my next video, which will be totally about packing and traveling with the baby. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. Now, excuse me, because I was dealing with the baby, but this is footage from my brother of our Airbnb. It was a four-bedroom, two-bathroom Airbnb in Brooklyn. It was about $1,500 cheaper than booking a hotel. So, obviously, for what we got, it was very nice. It's pretty spacious for a New York Airbnb, we thought. So, I took the room with the bunk beds, because it was just me and Skylar. It literally is a plot from Batman. Yeah. yeah. They definitely released it on purpose. Them saying, you know, Talk what the like government said, right. everything is in control. Don't panic. Yeah. You should That's panic. You, you should panic. panic. <laughs> you should panic like a hell. I agree. Now they never <laughs> tell the truth.
So for lunch, we went to Carmine's. It's an Italian restaurant in Times Square, and it was incredible. The food was incredible. It's family style. So um, we just ordered a salad and two main dishes, and we shared it, and it was plenty of food. So we had a good time at Carmine's, and we would definitely recommend you stop there in Times Square. That's how you know we're tourists. So we're out in Times Square. We're just here to explore, really. We don't have anything specific that we want to see in Times Square. The Broadway shows were canceled last night, so we didn't get to go to our Broadway show. But we're just here to explore and see what else New York has to offer us. So the shows were canceled due to the coronavirus um, or COVID-19, I think is the official name for it. Also, a lot of museums and other tourist attractions are also being canceled. I mean, everything's changing within 24 hours. So, you know, we're just trying to see what we can do, basically, because we here in New York, we not leaving. So we want to have a good time and, you know, just enjoy this vacation. So after walking the wrong way for like 30 minutes, we finally found Madame Toussaint's, I think that's how you say it, the Wax Museum. So we're gonna go in and try to get tickets. This is one of the few things that is open. Um, also Ripley, believe it or not, is open, but we just decided to go in here because, you know, it's camera friendly. So the tickets ended up being like $45 a piece, which is pretty steep. But considering nothing else is open, I mean, I guess it's worth it. So, yeah, it's like 10 people in here. <laughs> so, we're having a good time. Daddy over here dancing with these folks. Lex is trying to get them on camera. He got Sky pretending to flirt with this lady. Ryan back there looking at um, Kim K. And I don't know where Mama and Haley at, but they somewhere around here. There they go. Me and Ryan and Skylar taking a picture. I sent the dang pic to the wrong email. Ugh, I'm salty about it. I don't know why I have never seen Ghostbusters. I feel like I need to watch it, but I also kind of feel like it's a little late at this point, but yeah. The staff at Stardust are all aspiring to be on Broadway.
So today is March 14th. It is my sister's 25th birthday. So happy birthday, Haley. We are at brunch at the Buttermilk Channel, which is on the list of top Brooklyn places to have brunch. And it was a treat. So me and Ryan had the pork chop and cheddar waffles, which was amazing. Um, several people had the pancakes. We had biscuits, eggs, bacon. It was an incredible brunch. We really, really enjoyed it and highly recommend going to the Buttermilk Channel for brunch. So here we are at Macy's, which is a whopping nine floors and covers several blocks. So as you can imagine, it was extremely overwhelming and you know, the money was burning a hole in our pocket. So here we are just shopping along. So we did take our chances and caught a lift over to the 9-11 Memorial. It is closed because of Corona again, or COVID-19, whatever you want to call it. But as you can see, it is roped off where you can't even get up close. And there are actually security guards out here patrolling to make sure that you get nowhere near the um, pools. And as you can see, they're not even turned on. Um, as I zoom in here, you can see the fountains are not even on. So um, it's still a very surreal feeling just being here and knowing that so many people lost their lives here. And it's just a, you know, a real moment in U.S. history that comes to life when you get here. As you can see, there are very few people even anywhere near this area. Here is the mall. And these are supposedly shaped to resemble how the metal was bent when the towers fell. So I thought that, that was amazing. Such a beautiful piece of artwork. All the graffiti, this is just so beautiful. So we did end up changing our flights to go home one day early, but before we go, we did go to a birthday dinner for my sister at Chadwick's, which was an incredible steakhouse. And we did also go to 235th, which is a rooftop bar. And it was such a, an amazing view, such a good time. Um, the igloos were still up, but we couldn't go in them because of Corona. So. Overall, it was a great trip. For more of my travel adventures, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. See you later, honeys.